Let's talk about being too nice. This is something that I do a lot, <clears throat> have been doing for most of my life. Anyone else out there who does this will know why it's important to talk about this and why it can make life difficult. <clears throat> First of all, I, for the most part of my life, believed that being nice was something that I had control over. I thought it was a choice. And I think in the beginning, it definitely was. Or not, but we'll come back to that. I think that initially, we have more of a choice and more freedom about whether we want to be a nice, kinder, friendlier person. The, the trick is here, that, or I'd say the, the trap, is giving up who you really are to be this very nice person. Um, so later in life, I'd say, now I'm 35, so I'd say the last couple of years, I started to become aware that I actually don't have that much choice or freedom about being nice, and that it's actually really an automatic, instinctual response that occurs out of fear. So being nice for me is a, is a survival mechanism that has become so deeply ingrained in my instinct that now it's very difficult for me to go in and uh, control it. So if that doesn't make any sense, just very quickly, it all begins with thoughts. Okay, something will happen in the world and then you will think and you will judge what has just happened. And the thing with thoughts that we all need to educate ourselves, our friends, our families, our children especially, thoughts are so powerful because when you think something repetitively over and over and over, it starts to change. It's no longer just a thought anymore it starts to become a belief. And that's what a belief is, is. A belief is thoughts that you are having over and over and over and over and over and over and again. It's like conditioning yourself if you're an athlete. If you keep doing push-ups every day, every day, every day, well, the, your body will adapt and you'll become geared and designed to be able to do push-ups much more easily. It's the same thing with thoughts. If you have, if you're a happy person, and one day something happens, and you see it negatively, and you start thinking, "Oh, I am this. I am. I'm fat. I'm fat. Whatever," and you keep doing it, you're going to start believing that it will become a belief. "I am fat" will become not a thought anymore, but a belief. Thing is, when it's just a thought, and if you're aware and educated about all of this, you can immediately address it you know, st stop thinking these thoughts or be aware of the thoughts and be like, okay, this is just a thought, it's not true, and then guide your thoughts into something that serves you better in life. Now, going back to being too nice, again, it starts off as a thought. It could be that maybe someone at school when you're young or someone, one of your friends hurts you or you get hurt for some reason, and then you, a thought comes into your head that, oh, I should be nicer to this person, or I should be just nicer in general, because then people will be nice back to me. <clears throat> and again, if you start to emphasize this thinking a lot, it can become a belief. Now, what comes after a belief is more difficult to control because once you have a belief and you're thinking the same thoughts over and over, the same beliefs over and over, our body 
basically is like a filter. You've got the first level, which is just thoughts, all thoughts, and the body doesn't take them all too seriously. The body waits for a belief to form, and then it will think, oh, this person is still thinking about this and now has turned this into a belief, so therefore this must be something very important because for the last couple of years this person is still thinking the same things. So what the body will want to do is make these beliefs bring them into the body, make them instinctual. And what that means is they become subconscious beliefs that we are. It's very difficult to, to control subconscious beliefs. That happens over a lot of time and conditioning. And subconscious beliefs, beliefs are linked to our instinctual response. So when you step out and, let's say, a, 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 a dog or you know jumps out in front of you that looks aggressive you're not going to think about it you have no control adrenaline just goes into your body and you're ready to like run away or fight the dog and that's an instinctual response so for many of us it starts off with these negative thoughts that don't really serve us don't help us they become beliefs over time and then over more time we'll walk into a room and someone will say something and we'll just automatically be nice without being able to like have the freedom to choose whether we want to be nice or not. It will just happen out of fear, out of an instinctual response to survive. So this is what's going on in my opinion and um, for me like I can tell you that it's it I, I believe that it happened um, earlier on in my life through bullying, being bullied. You know, it, it kind of got me to a point where I just, you know, because up until this point I was always just myself, not being overly nice, not being overly mean, just myself, you know, just cool, you know, cool person. But I think after being bullied, it kind of like created a new layer of awareness and consciousness, kind of like a police to your own thoughts, to say, oh, you know, be nice, be nice, you should be friendly, you should be sweet, blah, 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 it's going to help your survival. Okay? Now, some of you might be thinking, what's wrong with being too nice? It's okay, like, everything is okay as long as it's in balance, okay? <laughs> balance is a very important word in life. If you're too nice and you're sacrificing who you really are, life can become exhausting, it can become depressing, you can become lonely. Well, this is something else I want to talk, touch on is um, a reason, I don't know if it might be with a lot of other people, but for me at least, I think that I'm not so nice to everybody is because it is a great way to, for me to not get close to people. You might think, what? Being nice is a good way to get close. But actually, real closeness and really becoming close to people and becoming friendly is not about being nice. It's actually about having arguments and fighting. And that's how you really create good relationship, believe it or not. That's how people become closer. Because we all want to argue and fight, and there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with it. There's no reason for just being nice and civil all the time, you'll never really have a deeper relationship with people if, if you're that way. Close relationships are formed based on honesty, on being yourself, and that involves sometimes fighting and being irritated and expressing yourself honestly and not holding back what you have to say to just be nice. So... I think with, in my case, and maybe perhaps others out there, we choose to be really nice as a way to like keep ourselves protected and isolated so we don't have to get close to people. We're, we're letting them know, look, this is how I want it to be. We're, let's just be nice to each other. We don't, I don't want more than that. And, you know, maybe consciously you'll be like, no, I do want friends, I do, I do want more than that, but subconsciously, which is out of your control, your body's trying to say, no, you need to be alone, you don't want to be around people, They're gonna, people are going to hurt you, okay, so 
These are just some things I want to share and just make people aware of. You're probably thinking, well, what can we do? Like, what, how can we be less nice? The key is, remember how you became too nice. It was through this process of thinking, believing, and then it became part of your body. So if you want to go the other way, it has to happen the other way. It's got to take... You got and journaling helps, writing affirmation helps. You basically need to like take control of your thinking and start thinking, thinking, thinking the things that are going to help and serve you. So you're going to be like, there's nothing wrong with the way I am. It's all about now being yourself and, be, and not being afraid. There's a saying that I'd rather be hated for who I am than loved for who I'm not. And that's the core of this. So, doesn't mean you have to go out there and be a dick and be hated. Remember balance. So, perhaps just start toning it down a little bit. You know, where you can just be nice instead of too nice, why don't you do that? Be nice. And it might feel uncomfortable because there's going to be this fear of like, oh no, I'm going to get hurt if I'm not too nice. But just trust it and that fear will go away because that fear is just the instinct, the instinct like wanting to, to do something, okay? To do what it believes. So over time you can change your belief. You can, and you do it by changing your thoughts. All right, and um, I mean, it's a huge subject. I can go on for a long time about this, but I just, that for now, those are just some seeds, you know, I want to plant and maybe get people thinking, and then we can, we can do more. We can talk more. All right, best of luck. This is, doesn't sound serious, but it's a horrible thing because you're not really getting to be who you are. You're afraid to, like, voice your opinion. For me, it's come from bullying because I think that, oh, if I do... If I do, if I am just myself and not be this really nice person, then people are going to gang up on me and bully me and judge me. That's the, my, the fear. I might not consciously be aware of it, but it's like a subconscious thing. So, you know, it's just all about getting to know yourself and why you behave in the way you do, you know, tracing it back to your childhood or traumatic events or whatnot. Alright, best of luck everybody, and more videos coming soon.